Today we are grooming Ziggy, the one-year-old rag doll. Ziggy. Here. Eat the food. Come on, Ziggy, Ziggy. Oh. Okay. Hello. Hello. First, we remove his hearing and his death daggers. Are you going to be a pain? Here, put your foot down. Apparently, you pooped on yourself this week, so I got to give this a good shave. Ziggy's tail whips of revenge indicate that I will regret telling the world about his peppercorn removal. Kitty. He is less than impressed with this ordeal, but he does remember that he's a rag doll. You gotta stay there. Oh, okay, calm down. No, nope, calm down. Calm down. I guess there's a reason they call them rag dolls. Ragdolls are one of my favorite cat breeds because they are so docile. They are a breed that is most likely to perish if left outdoors because they are so domesticated with little survival skills. Their name is appropriate because you could pretty much do anything to them without them caring. I always recommend them to new cat owners or homes with young children, but making sure that new owners keep in mind that their coat requires some maintenance. Cats typically hate having their faces dried, so I usually remove the happy hoodie and then place them in a crate dryer. Diggy, it wasn't all that bad. After Ziggy was mostly dry, I brushed him out with a slicker brush first to loosen up his coat, and then I went over him with a cat comb. By the time it came to shaving his belly, I think he thought I was shaving off his manly bits. It was at this moment that I realized Ziggy just looks indefinitely surprised about everything. I sprayed him down in bubblegum cologne. And like all cats, they never want to come in the carrier, but they're more than happy to go back home in one. Goodbye. <laughs> he looked back at the linen. <laughs> what a good cat. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Zen Ziggy.